I'm a huge advocate for what you said about it's a people's business. Um, hundred percent like so powerful in property and in any business right it's all about relationships it's all about building rapport finding common ground and taking it right back to not just these people that came to you you had a conversation you looked them in the eyes you shook the hand you bought the drinks right you crack a few jokes lunch drinks yeah (laughs) yeah and then you get the management deals but also taking it right back to sourcing the deals from the agent and we say to our mentees if you sit at home in your nice little comfortable home office, right, in your dressing gown, cold calling agents, you're just another one of probably 10 or 20 people that phone that day about that property. Mm-hmm. The minute that you go in as the donut lady, right, with the donuts, with a big smile, with a business card, confidence, shoulders back, strong hand, handshake, talking the lingo, right, saying the right things, immediately you're put in a different category. You're like, okay, she's one of two people that came in today. I like Kate. I like the way she carries herself. I like the way she dresses. I can tell she's professional. Immediately, I think we can trust her. Let's take a chance on Kate and do our first corporate let, which maybe they wouldn't have done if you was just over the phone. Yeah, I think um, a lot of people are, are, fright- are frightened to go in and mm. talk to agents yep. and actually have that face-to-face conversation. And it is nerving. Actually, the first time I did it, I went out and had three glasses of wine before I went in and spoke really? to the agent. So you like walked in, wobbled in and... A little bit of liquid courage. Um, I didn't have to drive, so it's fine. So, um, but actually, I'm not saying that everybody should do that, but it worked for me. Um... Don't get hammered <laughs> before your first meeting with the agent or even an investor. Follow Kate in most ways, but maybe not that one. No drinking and going into letting <laughs> agents. Um, I didn't get a deal the day I walked in when I had three glasses of wine, but it just, it's just building that confidence. Um, mm. go, I, if, I, if I'm looking at a property and even now I still look at potentially a couple of rent to rent deals as some that we've been looking at over the last few weeks, they have to be the right property for us now because, because we've got so many, I'm looking to diversify the portfolio and find it. It has to be something we don't already have. Yeah. But go, yeah, going in is so much better than face to face than on the phone. Face to face is so much better because people will remember you. Mm-hmm. They won't. They pick up the phone all the time and they're 100%. not interested. Whereas they can't shoo you out the door right. when you go in. Well, and let's look at it this way, right? If you phone up about one two three one two three Smith Street, hey, I'm calling you to do couple lets. No, we don't. Or it's taken. Whatever. Put the phone down. If you go into an agent and you say, oh, hey there, John. Nice to meet you. Isn't the weather shocking today? Blah, 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 blah. Talk about anything other than the property for the first five minutes. Build a relationship. By the way, I was just wondering as I was walking past, I was just visiting uh, Pete in Northwoods next door. You know, we're doing some deals. Thought I'd drop in here and sp- speak about 123 Smith Street. Is it available? No, we don't do corporate lets or it's gone, whatever. But you've built the relationship, right? You've put in the time. So now you're in that little black book. They know you. They know your face. So when the next property comes up, that may potentially work for you, they pick up the phone and they call you. That's not going to happen if you're just calling about a specific specific property from your phone in your little home office in between having 15 cups of tea, right? So the reason I'm saying that is it's just reflecting back the steps and the processes that you've implemented that have led you again to where you are here today. When you was busy networking, when you was busy going and see agents, that was what you chose to do to get busy, to make this work rather than spend your evenings laying on the couch watching, you know, EastEnders. You was getting busy at the networking meetings. And I just say that because people need to realize that this shit doesn't just happen. No. In any business, you can look at Kate or you can look at any of my guests and say, it's all right for them, blah, 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 blah. It's not. It's because you've worked incredibly hard and put in the time and the effort and the hours got comfortable with being uncomfortable, right? Put yourself into scary situations and that is why you are now where you are today. So everybody just needs to accept that. If you want to grow, you've got to do shit that scares you. I think it can be it can be really daunting, you know, going in, especially when the market is as busy as it is now with service accommodation and corporate lets and every man and their dog want to get into service accommodation or rent to rent HMOs. But going in and just showing up, estate agents will and letting agents, they will appreciate that far more than you just ringing. Yeah. They will remember what you look like. My advice is always go and wear something really bright and colorful. Yes. Um, and bring donuts. Good tip. <laughs> so dress in like a flamboyant, what, like purple suit with like gold sequins, tray of donuts, 
Maybe a hat with a peacock feather. I mean, you certainly will be remember- memorable. <laughs> you definitely stand out. I'm a fan of polka dots, so I would go in all the time wearing polka dots. So I'd either be the polka dot lady or the donut lady. Yeah, it's another really, really cool hack. But in all seriousness, yes, I completely agree with what you're saying. The market's getting busy. A lot of people doing the courses. A lot of people going out there pitching the same bullshit scripts. But I also believe that if you implement the steps that you're talking about, it's not very difficult to rise to the top by being different and by actually doing shit. Mm-hmm.